Right now, two men are still recovering after a plane crash uh, into Lake Pleasant this afternoon. And amazingly, neither of the people were seriously hurt. Brianna Whitney is live at Lake Pleasant tonight. Brianna, there were some people out at the lake who watched this happen. Yeah, there were people fishing right here when that plane went down. I want to show you where we're standing. Officials say it went down at this area of Scorpion Bay, but it sunk so quickly you can't see any of it. But now officials are releasing the identities of the two people on board. They have been identified as a father and son who were flying that plane together. So I want to show you some video from the scene earlier today, and here is what we know so far. The pilot has been identified as 63-year-old Mahmoud Fani Tarani and his son in the passenger seat identified as 36-year-old Fabian Tarani. Sheriff's deputies say it was just after one this afternoon when the single-engine plane went down with the two men on board. They say MCSO Lake Patrol officers were able to find the two of them in the water and rescue them, then treat them for minor injuries. But there were families out on the lake when this happened, and people we spoke to say they watched this plane go up and down, clearly flying for recreation, and then describe what they saw and heard as something clearly went wrong made a circle to the north and just went straight in. I thought it was going to buzz some buzz the water, but it like hit the ground, hit the water, and, and it went under, nose, nose first, and went straight down. Yeah. As soon as it hit the water, I saw the guys jump out of it. And that man's name was Scott. He was fishing with his grandson right here when that plane went down. He said boats rushed in quickly to get to the two men. He actually helped them onto the shore, said one of them had a gash on his chin. The other had a gash on his leg, but they were talking and they were walking. So they are very thankful to be alive tonight. Now, MCSO is working with the FAA on this investigation, but so far it's just too early in the investigation to say what caused the plane to crash. Reporting live at Lake Pleasant tonight, Brianna Whitney for Air Arizona's family.